All right, people. Let me tell you, 16-foot, good, tight grain yellow pine. This is going to be Hannah's rafters. She's going to have the center part of her house. It's going to be 20-foot wide, 16-foot to the plate line, and all exposed. She wants rusty tin in the top, and she wants big beams. I'm cutting these things 5 by 10s. That's going to be what her rafters are made out of. They're going to be eight foot centers instead of two foot centers like you would normally do. But these trusses, rafters, whatever you want to call them, will be bolted together in every joint with a big piece of plate steel painted black bolted all the way through to another piece of steel on the other side. And that way they'll look good. You'll be able to look up and see big beams with those big black uh, brackets. It's going to look good. All right, I chose these trees because they grew in the woods with a lot of competition. So they grew straight up instead of just getting big at the butt and growing limbs. They had competition, so they grew straight and tall. And the grain's tight. I'll show you the grain. What I'm talking about about the grain. You can see how close the grain is on these right here. And these trees, this isn't a second gen first generation, blah, blah, or second generation. These weren't planted. These were just wild trees that hadn't been you know, any kind of genetic thing done to them where they grow faster or drought resistant or anything. These are just natural southern yellow pine. It could be long straw, it could be slash, it could be loblolly, it could be short leaf pine. I mean, there's just a lot of different kinds, but they all classified as yellow pine. All right, these, look at the growth rings out here. How tight. I mean, you can't put a knife point between some of them up here. They are like super, super tight. The outside cuts of this log, since it was just moving so slow, those growth rings represent a year. So you can only imagine this tree right here is it's old. The outside cuts on these logs are just super strong because every one of those black ones just represents strength. The white between is just sapwood. Okay, now look at it when it was younger. See how far these growth rings are apart. And as it gets older, they get tighter. You know, it's competing with all this other stuff, so it's growing straight up. All right, let me show you some first-generation loblolly. Now they've got second and third, but that's what that is. I think that's first-generation loblolly. Let me show you the growth rings on it and how much faster it grows. It makes beautiful lumber. It's just not as strong for framing. All right, let me see. That's, that's a good example. Okay, so that's the heart of the tree. That's the first... That's that first growth ring. So it grew that much, which that board's one inch thick. So I'd say at least five eighths, maybe nine sixteenths. Okay, look at that second. Look at that year. See what I'm saying? These trees grow so much faster. Now it did slow down out here. We had some bad years and we got some sandy ground and that's good for strength. But if you've got good ground and good years with good moisture, you know, getting plenty of rain, and these growth rings are going to spread out, and it depends on where that tree's at, if it's, you know, what it's, what kind of nutrients it's getting. But you can see look how fast that tree was growing. And this wood right here is soft. I mean, it's soft. That wood right there, that little growth ring, is super hard, strong. Especially if the grain is running like that. Let me show you a strong, okay, this board right here was an outside cut. That board right there is going to be so much stronger than that heart cut because the grain's running this way on this one and it's running this way on that one, if that makes any sense. Look at that. That ain't nothing but strength. So when you're picking up a piece of lumber, everybody says heart, get the heart. Don't get the heart. Get those outside cuts where you have as much grain running this away versus this away. These right here are beautiful. I mean, they're beautiful for paneling or something like that. But for framing, I would rather have this outside cut any day. Look at this one. Look at that. That joker right there would be tough, even if it is a second generation. Blah, blah, blah. So you can only imagine when you get to something like this and you take a board out. Say you take a board out like that. Look at how much... Look at how much grain you would have in that. Yep, it'd be tough. So that's why I picked these trees to, to make those rafters because they're going to definitely be loaded up being eight foot apart. But they're going to be five inches thick 
and 10 inches wide, each rafter, each beam, bottoms, tops, even the braces. Everything's going to be heavy duty and bolted together. So we'll ha handle ice storms, anything we can handle. Oak tree fall on it, we're going to hold it up. Y'all hang in there. We're going to get started on Hannah's house as quick as we can. It's going to be a little bit, but uh, we still got power, water, foundation, and all that to go through. But I do need to get these, these uh, cut up and get them to dry. Hope y'all enjoy all these videos because I'm hoping this spring we'll get, uh, get y'all plenty of them to watch. Hey, y'all hang in there. Appreciate y'all.